Hello friends, from today I am going to start a new section in my YouTube channel. It is like I would like to give 5 questions every day which are uh, MCQ questions and I would like you all to give answers for it. To just comment them, comment your answers in the comment box. So that every day I will pick one winner who gives the right answer to all the five questions and even I uh, in my next video which is going to be tomorrow I'll explain the answers of all the five questions and I would like to congratulate him or her who gives good I mean correct answer for all the five questions so by answering the questions try not to refer any book just it is just a test for your memory so let's start with uh, these five questions because I don't want to make it a big long video. So I would just wanted to give five questions. One of them is which of the following is a branch from trunk of brachial plexus so let me write the questions before I mean right now before recording so that it uh, it saves you some time so friends uh, I'm back within a small break so these are the questions which I would like to give you for today's question round First question is which of the following is a branch from the trunk of brachial plexus? Is it suprascapular nerve, long thoracic nerve or anterior thoracic nerve or nerve to subclavius? The second question is all are, are, all are true about brachial plexus. All of the four questions which are given down are true except lower trunk is formed by root of C8 and T1. Lateral cord is formed by upper and middle trunk. Posterior cord is formed by posterior division of all three trunks. C4 is post fixed to plexus. This is the second question. And third question is what are the branches of posterior cord of brachial plexus? All are the branches of posterior cord of brachial plexus except axillary nerve, thoracodorsal nerve, radial nerve, long thoracic nerve. The fourth one is herbs point. It is a junction of is it C5, C6, C7, C8, C6, C7, C8, T1. And the fifth one is 19 year old boy fell from motor bike on his shoulder. The doctor diagnosed him as a case of earth palsy. The following signs and symptoms are observed except loss of abduction at shoulder joint, loss of lateral rotation, loss of pronation of radio ulnar joint and loss of flexion at elbow joint so all these five are the questions which i am going to give you for today so try to solve it and write the answers in the comment box so that tomorrow i'll see who answered all the five questions in the best possible way and i would reveal the questions tomorrow by another video and if you have any questions, new questions, new types of questions, then you can send me uh, through the email address or you can even post in the comments. So these are the five questions which I would even, these are the five questions. So guys, see you tomorrow. Uh, hoping that most of you will answer. Okay, bye.